welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. I have a really cute unboxing for you guys today, and this is from Oraloa. And if you would like to use my affiliate code, it is underneath the description. It is not expected, but always appreciated. It will also save you 10% on your next order. And it's for any order. It's not just um, for new orders. If you haven't um, purchased from Orloa before, it is for any time that you do place an order with Orloa. I may receive a small commission. And again, it is always appreciated. And I put it back in the channel, but it's never expected. Orloa has their signature box. It does say Orloa on the top. Let your creativity sparkle. And then if we look at the bottom here, it says um, premium diamond painting canvas set. Also on the side of the box, let me flip it this way. This is in large letters. Let your creativity sparkle. On the top of the box here, it does show what is in the box. So that way, if you put your box on a shelf, you can easily see what is in there. I'm not going to show you that because I want to show you once I open it. On the back side of the box, it tells you exactly how to diamond paint. And then it also is going to include other information here. Um, what, how you can hang it up, enjoy your work. Um, also, um, it says that it's not suitable for children under six due to small parts. So let's get into the box and see what is in here. Okay, the canvas did come in a really nice dust cover. I just took the dust cover off to help with some of the crinkling. I'm gonna unroll it here. Let's take out what is inside here. And once again, my box was a little crinkly, um, but it looked like someone had sat on it. Not as bad as my last one that I had um, received not from Orloa, but from another company this week, but UPS and the post office are just slamming down packages, not taking care of them. I mean, I understand they have a lot of packages that they need to deliver, but it would be really nice if they would take a little bit more care because I really would like to have anything that I order in tip top shape. Luckily, the companies that I purchase from are very careful when they actually get everything ready for shipping. And I haven't had any problems. Okay, this is going to have to go sideways for now. But look how cute that she is. This is a 60 by 60. Let me make sure that's right. 60 by 60 centimeters. And I just love this. I thought she was just really cute. Has pumpkins all around her. I'm trying to move this light a little bit. It's a really bad glare. It has 53 colors, which I think is really cool. It has how many ABs? Four ABs. And I just thought she was just really cute. And I wanted something that was, you know, kind of screamed Halloween, but it also um, screamed fall. And I didn't want anything, you know, scary. I thought she was a cute, sweet little witch. She has a pumpkin house that's in the background. She lives in the pumpkin village. So let's look at the canvas. It says Oraloa at the top, their trademark. Also, it's going to have over here on the left, it is going to have the number, the symbol, and then the DMC code. And their numbers, one through eight or one through eight, we have mostly, we have all alphas, which is really nice. There is not a letter B, which is really good because I get Bs and eights confused. And... There are just some basic symbols that you have, would have seen if you diamond painted before with other companies as well as Oraloa. Turn this a little bit. Maybe I can go out just a smidge here. But look at the bottom of this. 
It has little mice. Maybe I can move this over. I'm trying to move the lights over a little bit. Has mice at the bottom here, which I thought was really, really cute. And we have some more pumpkins at the bottom here. There's some greenery over on the side. But I thought she was just adorable. And we also have on the far right hand side, we have our table, our schematic on this side as well. But if you look on over here, we have our little tiki that is on the left. Here is the little thumbnail at the bottom so you can see a little better. And um, this is by Fabriana Atanzio, and it's called Pumpkin Village. I'll show you that because I'm afraid I'm butchering that name. I do apologize. But I just love this kit. Normally, I don't go for like the cartoonish um, type of characters. But to me, she doesn't really scream as a cartoon. But um, I thought she was a sweet little witch. I'm going to go over to the side so you can see it a little better here. And let's look at our toolkit. We have our little tiki there again. And their trademark, let your creativity sparkle. I'm gonna take everything out of here. And everything comes in this kit that you need to diamond paint. So if you are new to diamond painting, you don't have to purchase anything special. When you purchase a canvas, you purchase a kit, everything comes in it. So you can use all the tools that's in here. You don't have to have any nice or fancier tools this is plastic it's hard plastic almost like a little coaster i haven't seen that one in my last kit from orloa that's cute then we have this it says thank you and again let your creativity sparkle that's just hard cardboard we have a really nice tray I thought theirs came with stoppers. I don't use them, but I don't see one, but that's fine. We have pokey tweezers, and they're pink ones. I love the pink because it matches my craft room. They are very sharp, so make sure that you do keep the sheath on so you don't poke yourself. We have a pin with a two-placer here, single-placer on the other end. They also give us, I'm assuming this is a seven, an Oraloa sticker, another Oraloa sticker. We have a little squishy for our pen, and we have the Oraloa trademark washi, and we have a pot of blue wax. When you use the wax, make sure you take the plastic covering off, or you will not be able to stab the wax into your pen. We have instructions that come in different languages. And then also they give us a code for purchase of a next one. Also gives us some information about Orloa. Again, there's more instructions on the back. And we get this really, oh, there's something on there. And um, we get Really nice sticker sheet, and um, here is a larger thumbnail. I will cut this. I will put this in my logbook. Also, again, gives you the information on how large the canvas is. Pumpkin Village. And then we have individual, individual stickers here that can go either on the bag or on your container. I like to kit up. I enjoy the kitting up process. And so I will put this in a container when I do kit up. I've got to finish up something else before I kit up, but I'm definitely going to do this in October. But I really do like how these are large. They're bright to wear. When you put it on your container, it's easily to see. And so let's look at the drills. There's a lot of them. I'm not going to go through all of these colors, but I wanted to show you all the gorgeous fall colors that's in here. 
you should be able to see the majority of them in here. This is a square kit. I really do like their squares. And if you do not keep your, your canvas and your drills together, there is a SKU number. You can look at that. It matches what is on the actual canvas. And so that way you can easily match it up. I am going to open this and show you the ABs and show you where those go. Here are the ABs. There's really not very many. I have plenty of ABs and I also have um, some crystals that I can easily add in this and I probably will. I think I'll go bling this one up. So this one is 722 AB. All of these are sprinkled around the pumpkin area. Then we have this one, 53. Number 53, it's 3078, 3078. That's really pretty, a really pretty yellow. We have 817, it's a really pretty red. And then some more kind of a reddish orange, 946. So those are the ABs. I think this one is going to be a mix of color blocking. It's going to be a lot of color blocking on around the sides. Like here's color blocking. Some of that is. There's going to be some color blocking. There's also going to be some confetti. There's some color blocking there. It's going to be quite a bit of confetti in her dress, it looks like. A lot of the pumpkins, like on this side here, that's going to be some color blocking. So it's going to be a nice mixture. And Orloa does have the really nice thick cover. It's not too thick, but it's just thick enough to where I don't worry if I decide to use my washi to section this off and I use um, my pin to actually cut it. I don't worry about that that much um, that it's going to actually go through. At the bottom here, it does have um, Orloa's um, socials, social media information, um, Facebook, Pinterest. It has Instagram on here as well. But I think she's just so, so cute. My favorite part of this has to be the witch. So I think what I'll do when I go to kit this up and I um, section it off, I'm going to leave the section of the witch open. I made, I think I'm going to do her last. I'm going to try to do everything else. And then that's going to be my reward for completing all of this other, especially um, at the top here in this little section where there's a lot of color blocking. That will give me a fun little section to look forward to. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you hadn't subscribed, please consider doing so. I have several different types of content that comes out about four times a week and would love to have you. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.